Hey, Orange One here. So we are at Dunglanis, and our kingdom's grown a fair amount uh, since you were last here. We had a little bit of peace, I think, between the last episode and this. Um, but anyways, I've gotten a couple more clans to join us. I think Ekerind, he left us and they came back. So he's back. So there was two castles. And then I got this guy, uh, Turidos to bring in Revlin. So we got another city. It literally, it literally cost me a million. Um, but I just got, decided to not include it because I was just kind of killing off Landians in the countryside, essentially. Um, we have this castle, or a city to take, or a town, I guess is what they call it, though it is a city, really. In any case, we're gonna go take Dunglanis. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we've knocked out the walls, we've sieged down things, so we don't even need the siege towers that we brought, but I, uh, we do have a number advantage, and given the trebuchets, uh, I don't know if they're even gonna shoot them, it looks like we might not even need them, we'll, we might even be just like on top of the walls right away. And there is actually a fair amount of them, so it's probably gonna take us a while to actually take these walls. Yeah, like look, there's all these archers up here, this is crazy. Anyone that I can see right by me? No. Okay, well, I'm gonna move up. Oh, man. See, so just like this always make me nervous, because you could just, like, be killed pretty quick. Like, someone gets a lucky shot on me, and then I'm out of this, you know? And they're kind of hard to see. I mean, I can see those dudes right there pretty clearly. I'm gonna take cover behind my horse. See if I can do a little something like that. Oop. There's uh, definitely this is hazardous. Oh, now that's the guy I just killed. I think though we're in. It looks like it, right? Yeah, I and mean, we're starting to see. I'm starting to see a good amount of kills. Oh man, look at this. This is a little mosh pit in here. Can I shoot any of them? Yes, I can. Nice. I don't know if I want to just shoot right here because there's a lot of them with shields. Um, yeah. I don't think I want to shoot into that right now. I mean, that maybe I'll maybe I'll try one or two. Yeah. Well, that was okay. That actually also hit someone, and that did too. Nice, okay. Maybe I'll take a couple more shots then. If I can get this crowd just... Yeah, wow, okay, it looks like we're in. Did you see how they like move forward in the area that I was shooting there? I don't think I made much of a difference, but I like to think I did. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've taken the city at this point. We're just like overflowing the ramparts. This is so cool. It's a sea of blue. Yo. I don't think so. Oh. Uh, who shot me there? Or if someone didn't shoot me, I'm... There's people run up on behind us. Okay. Yeah, that looks like... That, that dude that was shooting us is down. Awesome. Oh man. Super cool. Um, did we? I feel like we might have just hit ourselves with the trebuchet. Let's see, can I get a view of anything else going on in here? Kind of. Oh, hello. Where did that guy go? Yeah, we can hit a couple of you. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Oh man, there's nothing quite like these sieges. I enjoy taking a city every single time. It's just super fun for me. And that's why I always try to include you guys. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get that. Okay, well. I want to also, now that we can uh, kind of look around a little bit more freely. Well, we'll go into the city. I'll, I'll take all these prisoners and we'll sell off those that we can't um, recruit. 
But anyways, yeah. Our faction, I think, is now pretty much on par with the Vlandians, which have been re repelling people from here for a long, long time. I think because we've kind of like split our power, though. Um, like, we, we shouldn't be like super overconfident, you know? There's still a lot of th the things that could go wrong for us. But the fact of the matter is that we just took uh, another city from them. I would like to... let's just maybe put just a little bit in here in the cohesion so people don't start leaving. I'm hoping to uh, be able to... I think there will be the election for this place soon, but... Let's at least just ransom off some of these guys. If I uh, can't... Oh, that's my troops. Look at how many different troops I have. They're just like, a, it's such a hodgepodge force that I've got. I love it. Get rid of the ones I can't recruit first, and then we'll... Oh. We'll see, how many do I have now? Yeah, I still need to get rid of 10. Okay, we'll get rid of these uh, not-so-great units. Is that enough? No, we still need to do a few more. I think that's it. Yeah, that should be good. Why don't we get one more back? Those equine, equitines, uh, uh, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> um, we'll wait here for a little bit, yep, so that we can... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, so, make peace with the Vlandians. Um, I don't think so. Really? I gotta spend 40 to not make peace with them. Okay, well, I'm, I, mean, I don't want to make peace with them. If that means someone else gets this city, I'm not super happy about that, but... I'll do it. Just wait here for a little bit. And if it's not going to be my city, I don't know how many defenders I want to put in it. I should probably put a good amount in. Oh yeah, okay, so let's see. Can I get it? No, it's not. They they are all like, give us a city, man. Uh, you're the most likely to be loyal. And let's see, you got Sharas. You got a number of castles. You don't have a city. You've only got like castles. And you are a lower tier uh, lord as well. Though I think. This guy, yeah, he's Batanian, and this dude's uh, Vlandian. I'm gonna bump up our Batanian brother here. You know, we gotta stick together in this Vlandian's land. Okay, so um, actually, really quick, I'm just gonna spend a little bit of our influence to make our um, least friendly people a little bit more friendly. I think you guys were pretty cool, yeah. How are we? Yeah, you guys love me. You're pretty alright with me. What about you? Yeah. I think... Okay. It's basically you. You basically are the only one that is not in love with us. But like, see, if we do that enough, he'll, he'll forgive us. So someone else is gonna be trying to get this place all situated, which is kind of nice for me, because then I don't have to manage it as closely. Um, my army is still pretty strong. That's a pretty large army. Let's get that cohesion up. And then I kind of want to go for maybe a castle, because I don't know. I mean, that, that Veron castle would be an obvious choice. So we have kind of routed the Vlandians quite a bit. I think um, that we also have, if we look at our armies, yeah, you're going to Hungard, which is good. I kind of feel like we should go for Ox Hall, but we're closer to Kerr and Seth. So maybe we could try and, and loot that, or I don't know. Can I? Oh, there's an army of 200 there. Let's try and deal with that. Yeah, if we're not careful, they could take this place back. So maybe we should be a little bit more defensive against uh, Marinath, or around Marinath. 
Actually, now that it's someone else's, I could get uh, some influence by donating troops there, right? Can I do that? I think I need to do that. Oh wow, all those troops just got donated. Okay, so they probably have... Yeah, they got like a hundred something. Go to the keep. Actually, um... Oh, by the way, my wife is no longer in my party. She went off with the other uh, party. <laughs> There was a little split in the... I, I, I let some lords go loose, and then the chaos of them all... That sounds bad. But in the chaos of it all, of everyone... Go, like, essentially I ran out of influence, and so people just kind of left. Um, and then immediately one of the lords who had a lot of influence saved up, recruit, like, just mass recruited all of them, right? And so one of them that they picked up was my wife, like, instantly. I was like, oh, okay. Kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't been able to get her back in my army because that army has been continuously going off and fighting. I think it's Prindor. He's actually been doing a really nice job, like, fighting out there for us. Um, so let's go to the keep. Donate troops. And we have... Oh, we got some level ups that we can do. Cool. Do that then. And then the rest of you and you guys. And have a, that looter. And let's see, anyone else that I don't really want? I, mean, I kind of think I should keep the rest. And we are going to war, right? So we should be not overly doing that stuff. Yeah, let's go try and catch some of these guys that are raiding. Yeah, get away from there, man. I'm gonna get you. Oh, they split, actually. Barton. You got Hongard Castle. Can I convince you to join me and then, like, you don't lose your castle? I mean, if I don't, I, I'm going to get your castle anyways, so. Oh, really? Okay. Then, I guess that this has to be the way it goes down, huh? I mean, there's actually a, a village of mine here, so I think we even get them to give us backup, which is awesome. You guys are in for oh, a real God. treat. I've been um, also doing, like, because I've been just actually fighting these guys, um, I've kind of figured out some strategies that work pretty well. And basically it boils down to getting your archers set up and then just hitting them from about 150, I think, meters. I think it's supposed to be 150 meters. But if I can get to about 150 from them and get my archers set up, that works pretty well, usually. Yeah, so we can get our archers set up kind of like in this courtyard. Archer! See, uh, yeah, maybe? I don't know. No, I think it's saying that it's too tight for them. Move! Get the archers there. And I think that that should be good because then they should charge us because they kind of have to. And if I can get my cavalry around, then we can kind of flank and we should be able to just wipe these guys out pretty good. My archers might need to be a little bit closer because they are uphill. I'm not sure. Are they advancing? Yeah, they're advancing. Good. Kind of. Maybe. No, they're not advancing. Okay. Uh, let's, let's just get my archers. <laughs> Sorry, I, I should have... Let's get you guys to... Uh, advance. advance! Infantry! Where are you archers going? I told you to advance, and they're like going backwards. 
I'm very confused. Okay, let's uh let's just kinda go up here then. Archers! Move! And we get the archers up here. So that we can at least get like good fitting. Are they coming in now? I know these guys are coming, but trust me, I want to get my archers set up right now. And now I'll try and get these guys. Ooh. Okay, this is a little bit chaotic right now. Good God. Oh. There we go. Oh, there's one down. I don't know about the others, though. I think that we're getting them. Yeah, it looks like we're doing okay. I don't know if we're hitting their actual army, though. And we're the right distance, I just don't know if they have line of sight. I think that they don't have line of sight. Oh no, they do. They're firing at them. Good. Yeah, just hang out there then. They'll come to us eventually. And when they do, we'll be ready. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, they're starting to get hit pretty hard right now. Oh, there's their cab. I think I'm about to bring my cavalry into behind their line though. Yeah, that javelin throw right there. Those guys are scary. And infantry get in there. Yep, they're gonna start killing my archers, so infantry please get in there. They probably could have Send them in a little bit sooner. I was getting a little distracted though by trying to survive. Oh man. I feel like with Kenshi I was able to like kind of like take a little step back because I was doing less of the fighting myself, you know? But in this game I feel like I get really engrossed in the combat. I don't know. I enjoy it. But it is a little bit crazy. And hard to multitask and like do the stuff where I was like talking about like what I'd been up to. But I'd like to do some of that in this episode, so I'll try and do that a little bit. Um, yeah. So one thing that I wanted to tell you guys about was, oh my gosh, it's berry season where I'm at, and it's well, it's kind of weird being in the snow right now in this game, but like we just went like. Marionberry and Tayberry and all these other relatives of that stuff picking. There's like crazy amount of stuff that's like not quite uh Go! Well it's it's like it's kinda like dog breeds, but it's like really weird how they like crossbreed the different breeds back with in themselves. Like their um family tree looks like a it looks like a net. Let's just say that. It's very interconnected and incestuous um, within the Marion Barry precursors, but it was like done by geneticists who knew what they were doing. They weren't just like combining stuff randomly. I hope not, at least. I don't know the full history. I tried to find like a documentary on it, but I couldn't find anything about it. And I was like, maybe I should make a documentary, you know, be a journalist. <laughs> like I actually don't live too far from there. Oh, there's, yeah, we could get a few more, um, get some of these tier three ones then. I don't want to go over, over though. Because I don't think I really want to be going back to the city as of right now. Let's get rid of one of you, and that should be good. But yeah, like, I think the Tayberry is probably my favorite of all the different ones that are kind of like that. Yay! Someone got Hongard. Should I uh, claim it for myself? I don't think I will because I just spent all that influence on stuff. I'm trying to make that guy my friend. Um, 
but let's see. We could try and put some more defenders in here, because I am still a little concerned about that city. Can we get Alari? Can we kind of trap you? I don't think we can, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get you, like, kind of trapped on the city. No? Yep, maybe. Let's see, maybe I can do this boat. Oh, I could. No, I don't have... I See, if I had kept that influence, I might have been able to get keep it. Um, yeah, let's give it to Prindor. You're, you're leading armies for me, man. You're earning this for sure. You just took the castle yourself, so... Congratulations. See, I can be, be a benevolent lord. But, like, that was weird. The game didn't really want to give that to him. Okay, Severick's army? Who's Severick? I don't like the sound of Severick's army. Might want to go check up on that. I'm also just curious, if I look here, how many people are still kind of wandering freely? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll let you go free. I don't think I need quite this number of people with me. And it might be good to have him wandering around, because then he might be able to like catch people like this. You know? How fast are you? Uh, you're similar speed. If you actually pursued this, you might be able to do this, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that didn't really work. Uh, Herantus, who are... yeah. Okay, well, I think we could run you into... that other... Oh, there's actually an army of 700 there. Okay, I need to be careful then. If, are you gonna catch them? Yes, you are. I think I can take out that army of 700. But we probably want Turidos to come back into our party. Which he'll probably be glad to do, seeing how we're saving him in a sense, though I think he attacked knowing that we were gonna back him up here. I say he's an AI, but you know, like they wrote the AI to anticipate that I would follow up my troops. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a slaughter. Look at our numbers compared to their numbers. Archer, move! Infantry, move! This is, you know, I I hate to say it, but one of my favorite things to do in the game is just arch them down with just like superior firepower. I mean, it's also the most optimal thing to do because you'll you'll get so many so many kills from the archer fire, especially if you can flank them and they turn around. You know, they're they're shooting at them now. I don't know if you can see, but. There's some archer fire at them. Yeah, and now see, they're pushing up. That is okay with me. And these guys, they want a, they want a piece of the cavalry, huh? Um, and let's see. Are they? They're not retreating, are they? Yeah, I think they are. Well, that didn't take long, now did it? Oops. Oh, they actually got in to the line. Congratulations. Go finish them off. There's a lot of them that are out there. Just charge, please. Let me out of the way. Yeah, I think like the, the Tayberry is really good and the Boysenberry is pretty good too, but the Tayberry I like the taste of a little bit more. And like it's it's weird because it's like basically uh, a raspberry blackberry hybrid. Or like mixtures of hybrids of blackberry and raspberry so it's basically just pumping up and down like different concentrations of like the flavor um stuff in <laughs> flavor stuff <laughs> technical term <clears throat> from those berries you know like all the different aromatics and uh, whatnot And I think there's like, there's black uh, raspberries and other weird hybrid things and yeah, like it was cool because I got to go pick them and so I got to see like, um, essentially 
not just the berry, but the leaves and the stem and the thorns and like they're incredibly different. It's absolutely insane how different they are, considering that they're all like the same species in in a sense where they can like crossbreed, you know. And then that that also is a weird thing to me. Is like, wait, hold on, because there's some. Um, I think there was like it's not the Logan berry. There was one there is just a natural cross of blackberry and raspberry that had occurred in nature and they're like what <laughs> okay um i don't i don't know if i i think branock i'm gonna let you kind of keep on wandering around i think i might want to try and attack this before it gets bigger i'm not sure we're also kind of hurting and we could probably kick him around a, little, a lot better if we're a little bit more prepared. Um, they also might try and make a move on our our new city with the army. So I think that we need to, at the very least, hang out kind of around here and try and keep people away from uh, the stack. Oh, we got... Yeah, they're trying to make a move on us. Um, or they're trying to make a move on our city. Well, you know what? I think I, I'll let them try and do that. And then I might... I get the other lords there around here. We're two days away now. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll get you guys to join up, I think. I think we're going to want it to... Dissuade them. Uh, Joron, can I kind of cut you off from Sarek's army? Yeah, okay. Uh, Joron, can I actually con try and convince you to join me? Oh, really? Okay, well. Then I guess I have no choice but to crush you. I can't believe... I think he was... He felt the other army would get pulled in. But they didn't. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't as well. It was kind of a close one. After me! But you, as you can see, we're doing quite well against the Blandians. They are also... They are doing, like, okay themselves. They just keep on getting crushed. Like, basically every battle that I fight against them, not only do I win, but I crush them. You know? So it's kind of it's been it's been tough for them in that regard. Yeah, horse archer, you're. Yeah, I have a hard time with me. I I know your weakness. I should be probably in getting my army ready. Instead of going after that one horse archer. Okay, let's see. Uh, Arrows! Forward! Infantry! Move! We'll get the line kind of set up there, I think. Maybe not, because I, they might not be able to shoot them from there. Yeah, let's maybe move them over to here. We'll move further back just a little bit. We'll get the army on this side, and then we'll, we should be able to hit them from there. Get our our cab around here as well, just to make sure that we are ready for when they inevitably do charge. Oh, the horse archers are actually hitting them. Nice. That was a pleasant surprise. I think I might hide behind this bluff. Are they moving? It looks like they're moving up. Yeah, they're moving on them. Well then, I guess it's time for me to take this dude out. Oh, I think, did I? I think I got that guy's horse um, there. I'm not sure, I might have hit one of our guys as well. God, this is just too easy to hit someone, you know? I'm also, oh, got pretty lucky there. Didn't get hit at all. 
Let's get the cavalry cab up here. We'll just kind of. Let's just have. Hold arrows. Fire and work. Attack. Yeah, don't hold arrows. That was a wrong button that I pressed there. Yeah, you guys are about to experience a world of pain. <laughs> yep. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, nothing quite like having a million arrows firing at once. Um, wow, that's actually just about perfectly at the half an hour mark. As you can see, I think that we can just kind of keep on advancing on these landings. Why don't we just take a second to look at our force compared to theirs? I think we might have turn the tide of the power um, dynamics in the war. Let's just look kingdoms, diplomacy. Yes, we are officially more powerful than them. Holy cow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, I could consider making peace, receiving some tribute so they could pay me to have peace with them. How cute. I like that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.